what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel it's me your girl Leah Lee and I'm bringing y'all a very new treatment video I am going to be treating my client today with my new hydrodermabrasion machine you guys and my oxygen treatment machine really quickly a little bit about these two machines that I'm going to be using today the hydrodermabrasion helps to infuse serums into the skin also it helps a lot with extractions and the oxygen infusion machine is going to help to simply infuse oxygen and serums deeper into the skin as well after the exfoliation. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I'm going to start off by using the Casamara Hydrating Cleanser. This has um, almond oil in it. It's a very, very gentle cleanser and it does great at hydrating the skin. My client does have normal to dry skin, so this cleanser is going to work perfect with her skin. If you notice, the cleanser does not get very foamy or soapy or lathery, which is why it does great at hydrating. A lot of soaps that get super soapy tend to be astringent, which means they can take um, too many of the oils, of the good oils out of our skin, which leads us to either dehydrated skin, dry skin, um, irritated skin, and a plethora of other issues. Just depends on your skin and how your skin likes that product. Moving into the Green Tea Citrus Cleanser. One of my favorites, this is um, yet another gentle cleanser. It does get a little bit more soapy or a lot, a lot more um, lathery than the hydrating cleanser did. This is going to help with brightening and overall even skin tone. I do use my sponges throughout the entire facial for the most part. The last part of the facial that I use the sponges are to remove the enzyme. Who doesn't love a nice hot steamy towel? The next product that I'm going to be using is the Image Skincare Vital C Hydrating Enzyme Mask. This is going to help to gently exfoliate um, any dead skin cells that are on the surface of her skin. I decided to go with this enzyme because I know that it is gentle. There is a slight tingle with this enzyme but nothing overbearing like I know my other enzymes can possibly be. And being that this is going to be my first time also using my hydrodermabrasion machine, I wanted to take it easy on my client um, and not just jump head first into a strong enzyme and a machine that I'm still becoming, you know, comfortable with using. Here is my machine tip. This is the microdermabrasion double exfoliation tip. As you can see, the metal tip in the inside i'm just showing you right here how the water in the serum is going to infuse into her skin i did my first pass to make sure that the suction and the exfoliation of the tip is not too much and then i'm going to continue on as mentioned before i am new to using this machine i've used it once on myself and this is my second time on my client in this video so it's going to take me some time to perfect my hand movements to learn, you know, the um, correct suction for each client and um, even the tips, the tips there. This this machine comes with three different versions of the tips. So even learning those is going to take some time, um, which I'm totally comfortable with. The machine is from a company called Derma Gym. They are local to South Florida. So when I, you know, did my research and decided to purchase, I was, you know, fortunate enough to be able to go to their, um, their store and go pick the machine up. The hydro peeling solution that I decided to use on my client is the clarifying hydro peeling solution. This helps to deeply cleanse the skin while softening sebum and build up in impurities. It makes extractions much easier as well because of the um, active ingredients in it. 
So a couple of the active ingredients is um, lactic acid, kelp extract, rosemary extract, and glutamic acid. So with this service, a good mindset to be in to visually understand what's going on with this machine and your skin is going to be pushing these serums and these ingredients into the skin while also at the same time sucking out and exfoliating and putting all the junk into a separate jar that, you know, at the end of your treatment, you're able to see what was removed from your skin, if anything, to the visible eye. Not everyone is going to have um, what is called like a junk jar filled with different extractions and, you know, gunk basically out of the skin. Everyone's skin is not like that. When I did my own treatment, there was like barely anything in there. So just depending on the client, depending on the skin, um, depends on, you know, what you can visually see what was removed. I complete the entire face with this first tip and then I'm going to cater to those smaller areas as such as the nose with a smaller tip. Here is the smaller tip that is going to obviously, you know, do a lot better at taking care of the nose and any other fine line areas and that's what we're going to watch right now if you would want to skip forward to um, me using the silicone tip that minute marker is going to be 753 if you want to watch fully thank you so much for the support and i'm going to go ahead and let this rot out Here we have the silicone tip. This is gonna be much more flexible and gentler on the skin. This is designated specifically for extraction so you can get into those areas that you may need to, you know, be on the skin a little bit longer. So there's not that microdermabrasion exfoliating tip up here. It's just soft and flexible. It reminds me of a marshmallow. It's time for the oxygen treatment. I'm going to be using the Skin Brightening and Revitalizing Serum. And it's going to do exactly what it says it's going to do. It's going to brighten the skin and revitalize. This is one of the three serums that I have for the oxygen treatment. Um, I probably should have told my client that it was going to be cold because when I first put it on her, she was kind of like shocked. She was like, oh, okay, this is, this is kind of cold. And I was like, oh yeah, girl, sorry. <laughs> so um, this doesn't take much time at all. No longer than 45 seconds to complete the entire face. I honestly believe that there is no such thing as too many serums. So now applying the Image Skincare the Max Stem Cell Serum. This is going to help to dramatically reduce the appearance of fine lines due to facial expressions, wrinkles, and other signs of aging. This mask that I'm applying is from the Cosmar Prestige line. It is the Resistance Mask 2060. It is an algae peel-off facial mask that helps with firming and stimulation. 
The key ingredients are the kiwi extract that helps to firm and stimulate the skin, the poppy seeds, which helps to calm, and the seaweed extract, which helps to moisturize the skin. My client has stated that this mask was also like really, really cold and it helps to um, calm the skin. That's one reason why this mask is so very cold upon contact with the skin. She did not prefer for her mouth to be covered, which is completely fine. So you will see as I go around her mouth instead of covering it. After removing all mask, whether it's peel off or, you know, some type of mask that I'm brushing on the skin, I always lie down a hot towel to remove any extra residue that may be left on the face from the mask. Wrapping this treatment up, I am going to use my Image Skincare Illuma Intense Brightening Serum. Followed by my Image Skincare Daily Matte SPF. I am going to make sure this is nice and rubbed in to a flawless, seamless application. I get a lot of inquiries about if this sunscreen leaves a white cast on my clients. As long as you know your products, you know how to work your products, your clients are always going to be happy, and you are too. Finishing this off with the Image Armatic Lip Complex. My clients love this, and she loves it as well. She is not the only person I use this in my personal life too, I guess. <laughs> Not just when it comes to business stuff. I have this in my purse. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all let me know if you would like to see more treatments using these two machines. And I'm going to be bringing them to y'all. I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. I hope everyone is preparing for a fabulous month of December. And I will see y'all soon. Toodles.